The Garden of Ban Ban 3 is finally here. Let's do this. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome to the Garden of Ban Ban 3. I have been looking forward to this game for a very long time. Let's hit new game, and let's get started. Okay, so we are picking up right where we left off in Garden of Ban Ban 2. So we ended up on this elevator. It was going down... And this is where we ended up. So this is one of the new monsters in the game. What's the name of it again? Oh, Queen Bouncelina? Oh, I don't think I knew that before. I don't think we knew what the name of this purple kangaroo was. Finish your homework and be nice if you don't want to join us. Jump as much as you like, but never to conclusions. Okay. And there's a sign saying that Opila Bird is that way. Well, I definitely don't want to go that way. If you guys are excited for the Garden of Ban Ban 3 like I am, hit that like button and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel right now. All right, what do we have over here? This is... Oh, uh, here we go. Glad to see you've made it. Thank you. I don't know how you did it, but then again, you survived that giant elevator crash, so uh, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Yes. Also, again, I apologize for hitting you over the head. In fact, it is for this reason that I believe we should not meet face to face. I don't forgive you! you see, for whatever reason, I am prone to violent instincts, and I do not trust myself to not give in to them again. Okay. I have locked myself inside of a surveillance room. That way I can help without being a danger to you. What? We are currently on the lowest floor to remain active before everything went awry. There are many floors below us, but they've all remained closed and abandoned for quite some time now. Interesting. So just make sure not to fall. As for your children, I don't know exactly where they're being kept, but I know someone who does. Head to the aquatic sector. That's where he resides. Okay, so we're looking for someone that knows where our children are. If you guys didn't see Garten of Ban Ban 2, we found out that we are a parent looking for our child, and that voice that you were just listening to is Ban Ban, who's sometimes helpful and sometimes evil. I'm not exactly sure. All right, what is this over here? Oh, this is like a map. So it says, right now I'm on the ground sector. We've got the progressive sector, the medical sector, and the... A boreal aquatic sector. I think that's where we're supposed to go, right? Didn't he tell us to go to that sector? What is this? Oh, I think I saw this in the Garten of Ban Ban 3 trailer. This is like, it's like a transportation device. Basically, I think it will take you to different sectors. It's kind of like a uh, elevator, but it goes like horizontally. Before we go on that, let's just go upstairs and see what we have over here. Ah, so I can probably find another tape somewhere in the game and watch it here, and then... Oh, what is this? A battery? I don't know what I need that battery for, but I assume that will help me. And then this is the area where we can customize our drone. I wonder if they added anything new. No, it looks pretty much the same. Okay, okay, I am so excited. Let's get on this... Uh, blue platform thing and let's go to the aquatic sector oh wait a second i don't have the key card <laughs> i was so excited to get on that thing uh is the drone here the drone is there so let's do that uh, wait how do i use the drone again hey buddy sparky did they change the controls of the drone or do i not have the drone wait a second i got oh maybe i need another battery i got one battery maybe i need a second one to power up the drone I mean, it's literally floating in midair, so clearly it has batteries right now. Maybe it's back here? Come on. Oh, here we go. Battery? I got... I got two of them now! Oh, and we've got a note. Left mouse button to use your toy. Okay, so now I can use the drone. I got both batteries, but we do have a note. I always knew I was an unlucky person, but this is a new standard. I leave a bustling floor for the washroom, and when I return, everyone's gone without a trace, which would have been peaceful if it wasn't for the giant bird walking around. I doubt I can keep this quiet for much longer. My breaths are getting very heavy. What's the bird doing outside of its containment area anyway? I thought they were showing off only the short purple creature because we were behind on schedule. This is not how I imagined my end would be. Okay, so this is clearly written by a former employee of Garten of Ban Ban who was trapped inside the school and being haunted by Opila. Alright, here we go. So let's hit the giant red button. I assume we're looking for 
Oh, okay, now we need to get it here. So I assume we're looking for, like, the purple or pink key card, so then we can activate the transportation device. I don't know exactly what to call that blue thing. Let me know in the comments what you think I should call it. All right, here we go. Button number two. Come on, Sparky. If you guys didn't remember, I named my drone Sparky. And that should open the door. Yes, it did. All right. Oh. Okay, I was assuming there was just going to be a key card. I thought this was going to be very easy, and I can just get right on the blue transportation device. What do you want, Ban Ban? It just hit me that you need the key card to operate the cable car. Yes. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Literally everyone had a copy. It's how you'd get from station to station. Oh, this is going to be another one of these puzzles. Okay, so we've got, like, children's drawings of the monsters. So we saw this in the trailer. The only one that they really make look evil is Ban Ban because they added a devil's tail to him. So that makes me think that he's definitely evil. These are all the monsters. Oh, this is a new one. This is a new one. This is Nanalina. So it's like the opposite of Banbalina. And then we found out that the purple kangaroo is named Queen Bouncilia. Okay. Do I have a yellow key card? No, I don't. All right. Wait, what the heck? Oh, here it is. Yellow key card. Oh, and there's another note. Dear mommy, the nice jellyfish is very strong. He carried everyone to here, but Miss Mason hates him, and I don't know why. Okay, so Miss Mason, I assume, is the teacher of that child that wrote that note, and the child uh, appears to think that uh, the jellyfish is nice. I think the jellyfish's name is Captain Fiddles. Oh, what is this? A cleaner has been dispatched. Please wait for result. What? I don't know what this is. Notice to janitors. Cleaner checks required before end of shifts. Oddities are, or what does that say? Oddities are dropped into the marked hole. I got a bad feeling that I am going to struggle with this game. What was that? What does it say? Uh, oddity detected. Remove oddity, receive payment, and punch out. Well, where's the oddity? Oh, maybe I need to clean up all the crayons that were on the ground? Wait, 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 wait. Let's see if I can pick this up. Oh, so basically I need to walk around and clean the ground. I don't know how many crayons there are. I found two. This is number three. Number four. Usually in Garden of Ban Ban, they pick six. That seems to be the number they usually go with. So this is number five. This is number six. Oh, we've got more. We've got more. Number seven. I got to look for the drawings. That's where... What does this one say? Claire was here. I don't know who Claire is, but I have a feeling we might find out later. Okay, and this is Opila Bird. All right, I think that was all the crayons. So if I leave them here... Who? Okay, that's... Three. Okay, can we put all the crayons in at the same time? It's not that hard. I think this is the last one. That was seven. Maybe I have to do the cleaner one more time to make sure all the oddities are cleaned. Okay, so he's checking for different oddities, which I guess are crayons. I think I cleaned them all this time. This is a good game, guys. I love the Garten of Ban Ban more and more with every part they come out with. Okay, what does it say? Uh, a cleaner has been dispatched. Oddity detected. Remove oddity to receive payment. Did I miss something? So it says right here, it says, uh, like, fruits and crayons. I think I got all the crayons. Is there, like, a fruit on the- Oh, I did miss a crayon. Son of a nutcracker. That is my fault. All right, let's put the last crayon in. Let's run the cleaner one more time. All right, cleaner is going into his hole, and uh, hopefully that was it. No oddities detected. Dispensing key card. Aha! Okay! Oh, I see Nab Nab right there. Wait, so how do I get in some of these other doors? Like, how do I get in the green door? And then how do I get in the... I don't remember what color this door is. The orange door. I have a feeling these are going to be, like, secrets throughout the game. Okay, I see you, Nab Nab. I see you, Nab Nab. All right, sweet. That's fine. That is fine. I'm not going to worry about that until later. So I have the purple key card. Now the question is, which one is the aquatic sector? So if I'm there, I think the aquatic sector is going to be to my right. I think so. All right, let's hit the key card. How do? Oh, I probably tell it to go that way. I think this is the aquatic sector. At least I hope I'm going the right way. Although the fact that there are no lights is 
kind of freaking me out a little bit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I think it is the aquatic sector. Yeah. All right. So far, so gooey. I don't want to brag, but I am doing a very good job so far. So this says Captain Fiddles goes in this door. I, I don't think we have this key card yet. No, we don't. All right. So we're looking for an orange key card. Why are these doors so big, by the way? The fact that these doors are so big makes me worry that the monsters are getting bigger and bigger. By the way, Ban Ban is watching our every move. There's there are there are microphones, speakers, and cameras everywhere we go. Oh, here we go. So Nabalina, which is the opposite of Banbalina, says there's a right somebody for everybody. You just need to look. Okay, that seems like good advice, I guess. And this one is a yellow key card, which I believe we do have. And the yellow door opens. All right, sweet. So now we see more of the Gavinium. So this is like the chemicals that they use to make the different monsters. And we've got another custom drone section, which I don't really need. What does this do? You have no audio discs to play. Oh. So apparently we're going to be looking for audio discs. What is this? We've got another letter. Oh, this is one of those case updates. So this one is about... Uh, the jellyfish, which I believe is, um, Captain Fiddles. Case 13, as has happened in the beginning with most prior cases, has finally started showing signs of body and brain activity, which means actual testing will be possible soon. Dormancy for two to three weeks has been observed in all prior cases when Gavinium and the genomes are first mixed in and placed into the body. Case 13's body has only been in the expected dormant state for a single day, and neuroactivity has already been observed. This is new. Okay, we're learning a little bit more about Captain Fiddles. I guess he has been progressing faster than the rest of the monsters. Oh, I did not notice these X's from before. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to use the drone for this. So that's probably the glass that I can break. So, hey, Sparky! Sparky, get over here! Where's the spark man? There he is. All right, so first things first, let's hit this X. I think this is the first one I'm supposed to do. Unless that's the first one I'm supposed to do. I'm not sure. All right, let's go there. And then let's go here. Can I break that glass? Oh, there just wasn't glass there. Wait, was there? Is this door open? Oh, wait. And now what if I hit this one? Will that break? Ah, and now I can probably jump in. Yes. And there's the orange key card. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, so now I should be able to open this door. And I don't know if Captain Fiddles is gonna be there or not, but this is the door that says Captain Fiddles should go this way. Oh no. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about a lot of things. If you've ever seen my videos, I say I have a bad feeling a lot of times because I do have a bad feeling a lot of times. Oh. Oh, I get scared by the lights. That's him. There's Captain Fiddles. Wait, so according to the letter from the little child, apparently Captain Fiddles is very strong, but also a good guy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk up to Captain Fiddles. He's not gonna try to kill me. In fact, he's gonna be a very nice guy. Right? Right, Captain Fiddles? Hello, Captain Fiddles. You look very nice today. I really like the orange shine that you have. Okay, can we go around this way? Beautiful. Is there anything down there? No. If I'm missing any secrets, guys, let me know in the comments because I probably will be. Can I go behind the communications kiosk? I can. That is orange. Is that going to wake him up? Uh, Mr. Fiddles! Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy! I love your eye. It's very... You've had a rough day. I can tell. Yes, I have. You diligently wait for the moment you leave this wretched place with your child in hand. I can also tell. Also true, yes. Not to undermine your efforts, but I fear that moment may never come. Uh, have I more confidence. And I will gladly show you why, but after I do, you take my advice. Deal! Leave this place while you still can. Erase it from your memory. Move on and forget any of this ever happened. And I promise you, tomorrow will be a better day. That's that's the advice you're gonna give me is leave my child and and forget about him. That seems like a hard thing to do. 
Oh, uh, where am I now? Where am I now? I oh, this was from the trailer. So, this has to be like a memory or a dream for Captain Fiddles. I assume I have to walk up to him or the Welcome car. To my home. Thank you. Or at least, what we're supposed to be down in the dark and cold depths of the facility. The circumstances force you to do things that are out of your nature. When I feel that I'm straying too far off my original course, I head to the room I found me meditating and to mentally regroup. I come to this place, and then I am reminded that what I'm fighting for is worth all of this pain and suffering. I have never had actual sun rays touch my skin. Can you imagine that? And I yearn for the day that they finally do. I need the children to achieve that. But do not worry. I will practice the safest of procedures. What? Whatever I decide to do with the adults, I will make sure to keep one alive and sane so that the surviving children are delivered to the surface safe and sound. I admire your courage. So I am giving you the chance to walk away. Take it. That way you won't lose both your life and the chances of your child. Oh, okay. That's not terrifying at all. So we were in this room in Garden of Banban no Chapter liver, Two. No intestines. Oh. But most importantly. Oh. No pancreas. Oh, why do you want you my pancreas? Sir, you have more organs. What am I supposed to eat when there's nothing to eat? Ew. Guess I'm going to have to look elsewhere. Oh gosh. Wait a second. We're playing as Captain Fiddles now? Oh, this is awesome. I will be back for more very soon. Also, check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs, and I will see all of you in the next video.